Hey guys, it's Kayla and today I'm here with my Notion tour. If you don't know what Notion is, it is a planning and organization app and website. I've been using it recently and I absolutely love it. So I thought I would show my setup, my layout today with you guys. I will make sure to leave my template link down below and the two main templates that I pulled from so you can get started with Notion right after this video. This is what my Notion looks like when you open it up. I really like that it's an app because I can have it both on my computer and my phone and it all syncs up. So if I wanna quickly add something in on my phone while I'm on the go, I can do that and it will show up on my computer later on. This is my homepage. It is all super customizable. It is a little bit hard to get the hang of, but once you do, you can do just about anything in here. You can change all the cover photos and icons. I just have my 2021 vision board up here. It definitely gets cut off a little bit on the computer version, but I don't mind that because it's on my desktop. That is the cover photo and you can also change it in this upload section here. You can also reposition it a little bit if you want to move it around. For the icon, you can automatically upload any emoji there, but you can also upload an image. So that's what I did. I made this KC, it's the little channel icon that I have on Canva and I just uploaded it in here. You have to download it as a transparent image unless you want a white border around it. So that's what I did and just made it branded to me. You can also title your notion. A lot of people just make it their names, but I wanted to make it a quote. So it says, be such a beautiful soul that people crave your vibes. And this thing popped up on the side, but this is like the organization home thing, but I don't really like that. So I pushed it to the side and just access everything from the homepage. As we scroll down, we get more into it. Here is just the date listed. I manually change this every day. There's probably a way to make it automatically change each day with the date, but I just manually do it. You can also change the color of this. I have it as the brown background, but you can make it a ton of different colors. You can change the text color, but I've kept this kind of light brown beige for everything. Then we have a to-do list in this top corner. I still physically write out my agenda each day, but these are just kind of the main things I want to accomplish for the day. So we can cross some of these out already. I worked out, I've worked, and we're filming this video right now so we can cross those things off. And then later when I go on a walk and edit a video, I can mark them off too. Then we have some inspiration images. I pull all of these images from Pinterest. I will try and leave a Pinterest board linked down below with kind of all the pictures and stuff that I use. On the left side here is a quote. I just wanted some more inspiration in here. And this is a quote that I really love from my Jesuit high school days. On the right here is a lot of the pages. Like I said, you can access them in this sidebar thing, but I normally just do it from the homepage itself. We have a content creation page, my 2021 goals and my monthly goals. We have inspiration and daily is kind of my daily routine. So we'll go through all those pages in just a second. Rolling down more, we have weekly, and this is kind of my weekly to-do list, the big things I want to accomplish over the week. Those are just kind of the overarching goals. And I don't think I mentioned this, but I don't really use this at all for work. It's pretty much just for my personal life, whether it's content creation or just whatever general thing I've got going on. That's how I use my Notion. I don't really use it for work at all because I have everything in kind of Google Sheets and Google Drive for work. Then we have each day listed out here. Again, just kind of the broad overall things that I've got going on. So this was yesterday. I marked off everything. Today we've already worked out. We have work. I'll probably put like edit video and stuff. I haven't exactly figured out how I want to use this section. Then we have four images here, just more inspo, motivational, manifestation type photos that we just want to envision for 2021. And there's some more pages linked down here. These are ones I don't use as often. So they're just linked at the bottom, but I still want to access them frequently. So I want them on the homepage. That's kind of it for my homepage for Notion. I'm still trying to mix around with things and see what I like and what else I want to add. But this is kind of the main bulk of it. Now to take you through all my sub pages, like I said, the main ones I kind of use are in this top section. The main one being content creation. This is kind of where all of my content stuff lives and breathes and I'm just always in this thing. Again, you can change the cover photo and image. I made these cover photos in Canva and I just pulled images from Pinterest. I'm not sure where it is. I think it's one here. So you just upload it like that. And again, you can reposition it to exactly where you want. Same with these icons. I really didn't like the emojis. I wanted it just super minimalistic black thin lines. So I just found icons on Google and uploaded them in here. Again, if you want the transparent background, you need to make sure their PNGs are transparent so that you don't have like a weird white background. Again, in this overview section on the side, you can kind of see all the icons that I have. They're all just like black, super simple, clean lines. I wanted it super minimalistic and not too crazy. Going through this content creation page, I have this top section which says upcoming videos. So obviously we're filming my Notion tour. I want to film a sticker shop 
video and a work from home video. So just kind of the big videos that I want to work on in the upcoming week. Then on the right here, we have content pages. So these are all the sub pages of content creation. I don't know how to best explain it, but like the, you can make sub pages and it all kind of falls under your main notion page. My home page is the main page. Then we have content creation and then we have all these sub pages for content creation. We have a content tracker, a podcast content one, a YouTube brainstorm, TikTok brainstorm, podcast brainstorm. We have my YouTube content page as an expanded view because that's the one I click on most often. So I didn't want to have to keep clicking into it. Have it on the main page and you can see the current month, but I can also expand it to the full page and then it kind of scrolls forever and I can plan things in the future. But I like that I have this general overview on my main content creation page. And then just a few little things at the bottom. I have a list of brands I want to work with. I got that idea from Carter's Notion. Just some things to manifest for 2021. And then I have a quote here that says, you're allowed to make a big deal about things that are important to you. This quote is also on my 2021 vision board. And I feel like I just needed something to fill this space. Now for the content creation sub pages. The first one is this content tracker. I really like this kind of habit tracker setup and this one is all focused on my content. So I have all the different types of content I want to upload each week and my goal for how many times I want to upload them. Upload a video. I uploaded one yesterday. I marked it off. I'll upload another one tomorrow so I'll mark that off. Anytime I post on Instagram, on Reels, all those kind of things are laid out here just so I have something to work towards. And then you can also duplicate this whole section and it will build out another one for the next week for you. It takes a second to load, but as you can see, then it just creates a copy of this and you can clear out the check marks if my mouse will work for me. You can clear out the check marks, change the date to the next upcoming week and just rename it here. And then you can take the old one and bring it down to the archive. So it saves it there if you wanna go back and look at them, but you don't have to keep them all on this page. It's all out of sync now, but I'll fix it later. But I think you get the gist from that. Next we have podcast content. This is kind of the same thing as YouTube content, but it just has my podcast episodes. I've been slacking on the podcast recently, so there's not much in there, but that's where all of that kind of stuff will live. The next few pages are all brainstorming pages, just to give me a place to dump ideas. So YouTube brainstorm is kind of the most filled out. I have different categories of videos and ideas underneath them. This way I can just keep them all in one place. And if I'm struggling to come up with a video idea, I can go look in here for one. Or if I have an idea and I want to save it for later, I can throw it into this list as well. And that's kind of the same thing for the TikTok one and the podcast one, just a list of ideas that I have going on and I can work towards those. So that is kind of the whole content creation section. Back to the homepage, this next section is goals. So I have my 2021 goals listed out here, everything I'm kind of working towards this year. Also, I have my monthly goals page and this is broken down into more sub pages for each month. So right now we're on January goals and I have my goals listed there and I can go back and we'll have February, March, etc all listed here and they're all linked back to each other so it's super easy to access them all next we have inspiration i don't really use everything in this section quite yet but i do want to so first we have notebook and i'll be able to kind of journal in here i feel like i'll be a lot better if i do it digitally so i want to have it live in here and that's just a page for it and then i also don't really use the quotes one yet but i want to make a list of just good motivational quotes in here that i can pull up that's kind of what my affirmations page is i've listed a ton of daily affirmations so I can just pull up this page and read these each morning to kind of motivate me for the day and manifest good energy for my day. Really trying to get back into a positive, productive routine. So that's kind of where this daily section comes in. So I have my morning routine listed out here. So kind of what I want to accomplish each morning, get right out of bed, don't go on social media in the morning, get dressed, etc. You can kind of see it here, just things I'm trying to work towards in the morning. And I have this as a page to remind me of that. And the same thing with the night routine, just everything I want to accomplish in the evening. Definitely trying to prepare myself better for the next day because I found that relieves a lot of stress and makes me a lot more productive. And the last thing in this daily section is my habit tracker. This looks the exact same as the content tracker. It is just for daily habits. Water, workout, meditate, write in a journal, go on a walk, vitamins, floss, 
you can see which ones I haven't really picked up on yet this year, but I can mark off some of these things for today already because I've done them and it's just super easy to kind of keep track of everything here, work towards a goal and see how many times I've checked it off. Really motivating to hit the checkbox and make sure I get it done. The same thing with the content tracker, you can duplicate it to make a new week and archive any past weeks. Those are all the pages in this top section, definitely the ones I go to most frequently. So that's why they're more towards the top, but I wanna make sure I take you through these other pages as well. The first one is the fitness page. So here I've listed all my workouts that I've done for the year. I feel like this will just really motivate me to keep Keep up with my workouts and I can see how many workouts I've done total and all the different categories like how many calories I've burned you can just add a new one put the date so we'll put today because I didn't put in today's workout yet so I did a leg workout and then I can add how many minutes I've done how many calories I burned and then you can also add in little tags so then I can mark it off as a leg workout and I'll be able to see how many of each type of workout I done, I've done at the end of the year. So that's kind of cool. I like just keeping track of things because it motivates me more to actually do it. Next we have my budget page. This is definitely more just a general overview of my budget. I keep track of everything in a Google Sheets and I have that actually linked at the top here so I can open it really easily into Google Chrome and it pulls up my Google Sheet and I have it all written out here. I wanted to keep a broad overview in my Notion so I don't have to look at the Google Sheet every day because I found myself being a little bit too obsessive with it and I don't want to drive myself crazy with saving and budgeting. So this is just kind of a general overview if I want to kind of check it and see where I'm at. I have my different savings goals for both of my savings accounts and then I just have an overall 2021 finances. Up at the top two, I have my finance goals for the year just to motivate me more. I also have the wish list page linked so that will just pull it up really quickly if I click through there because I think my budget and my wish list are very connected because if I save enough money, I can purchase the things in my wish list. I have a new phone, a new camera, different workout things and home decor things that I'm trying to save for. The price of the item, what kind of category it falls under and a link just so I can see what I'm really working towards and saving for. If I don't spend my money on a ton of unnecessary things, then I can really spend the money on the things that I'm really eager to get, if that makes sense. I just keep track of it all in here and I can add things and take away things really easily. That's why I love Notion for all these just really buildable tables. Again, it's a little tricky to get the hang of, but once you do, the opportunities are kind of endless in this app and you can do so many things with it. Next, we have my current reads page. This is one I got from Carter and I just kind of move things around to work better for me. In this top left corner, we have what books I'm currently reading and which books I want to read just so I can easily see it there. I have this counter widget. There's a few different websites that have widgets for Notion specifically. This is one of them. I will try and link it down below but this little counter just lets me keep track of how many books I've read and you can add and subtract really easily there. I've also linked my Goodreads because that's where I really keep track of my books and kind of get book recommendations from so I just want it linked there so I can easily pull it up into Google Chrome if it'll load. This is my Goodreads if you want to follow me. I love Goodreads and I keep track of all the books that I've read in there too. Kind of in between Notion and other apps right now too but I can't get rid of Goodreads because I love it so much but I'm also keeping track of all my 2021 reads in Notion so I have this table set up for that. So we have the name of the book, the author, what genre it is, what date I finished it, and the type of book whether it's a Kindle or a physical actual book. This will just keep track of all my reads and the counter thing is at the bottom here so you can see how many books you've read and I can update it in this top corner as well. My goal again is to read 200 books in 2021 and I'm a little bit behind so we gotta pick up the slag there but this is just where I'll keep track of all of that. The last two pages in this bottom corner I haven't really used yet but I want to have them in here so I start using them. The first one being recipes. I want to be better about trying out new recipes so I can add them all in here. You can put whether you tried it what category, how you rated it, if there's any ingredients you need and a link to it. Just a super easy way to track new recipes. Again, you can make it super customizable to whatever you want. So anything you kind of want to track or keep note of, you can build out a table for it. And the last page is a reference page. This is from Twirling Pages. I think that's her name template. So I will leave it linked down below. You just have a bunch of different categories up here and you can add in new things there. Just a list of things to keep reference of. I feel like I have so many links and notes 
in different locations so i want to get better about keeping them all in notion again it's super easy to pull it up on my computer pull it up on my phone so i want to keep it all in one central place and notion is definitely the way to do that that is it for my notion tour if you are into planning and organization at all you should definitely download this app once you get the hang of it you can really build out anything you want in notion when it comes to planning organization i love this app and i'm definitely going to be adding more to this as i kind of figure out the app even more don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comments down below that really supports my channel and helps my channel grow and you should definitely stick around and subscribe if you're new here for work vlogs post-grad life and more thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in my next one